Hey everybody, with thanks to Lexmoto, I have this Lexmoto Aura 125cc scooter on loan for a few weeks. Uh, I did actually request this one. Um, I know some people want me to do the LXS, and I am going to do that in the future, but it's basically booked out at the moment. And uh, in the meantime, I was offered, like, well, what, do you, is there anything else you'd like in the meantime? And I was like, 125cc scooter, went through, and was like, that one. Because I used the Diablo in the past, and I miss having the convenience and the fun of a scooter. But I thought I'd give you a quick look at it. It's, uh, it looks all right. It's not the biggest sort of scooter in the world. It's not the smallest. Uh, I'm 6'4", as I'm sure you'll know, and it's a little cramped for me, but it's not too bad. Well, I should quickly tell you, it's 10.3 horsepower, does about 90 odd miles to the gallon. It's got eight litre tank, I think, maybe a 10. I'll get these figures correct for the review. I'm just going off the top of my head here. Uh, but yeah, let's get going. Now, people make some jokes at scooters, obviously, because people, you know, I'll oh, get a real bike and all that sort of stuff. And as much as I love bigger bikes, I can appreciate any bike for what it is. And scooters, as I say, for getting around town, for short commutes, for going shopping and stuff, are massive fun. More fun than my bigger bikes. Because they're barely, you know, you're barely using the engine anyway. You always end up sitting in one gear, so you might as well ride like you got one gear, because, well, it's, it's an auto. And for those reasons, I have thought about getting a 125cc scooter in the past, but because I already have two bikes, it's like I don't need three. I just don't. I'm not doing that. But if you have one main big bike, it would make so much sense to get something small like this for getting around town on the short commutes and the nasty days and stuff, when you don't want to ride your more expensive machine. You know, it's, it, if going to your local shop might not even warm the engine up enough. Now, of course, you should warm all engines up, but I'm, I'm just going to be honest here. If I owned a scooter, I wouldn't be warming the engine up. <laughs> I mean, I'll turn it on when I stick my gloves on, maybe, but then I'll be off. Like, it, it, they're made to be abused. Traffic may be an issue today, but I have a feeling we might be able to get to the top speed without too much trouble. Okay, and we're off. I'm pinning it. I'm giving it all she's got. 40 miles an hour. 45. 47. There's a 50. 52. This is going to be a problem. 55. 56. Now we're going uphill. 57 and we're going uphill. Will we see the magic number of 60 upon our screen? I think we might. Come on. 44, 40, 40 oh, 50 nearly. But I got a feeling we're gonna have to slow down because of merging traffic. 55 again off the throttle. We're gonna go a slightly different route and hope for a better chance for top speed run. Let's go. Go. 40. Okay, well basically I've given up on the top speed run for now. I'm going to try some intercity stuff. <laughs> it's just too busy and this kind of proves the point. If I can't max this scooter out, and I think it's going to max out around 60, if I cannot do that, what am I going to do with a 600? The UK is getting so overpopulated. There's so many cars that the benefits of the bigger bikes are, are being lost in ways. I will say, in the time I've been riding this so far, I haven't gone to grab the rear brake like the clutch. I seem to have grown out of that one. I've done enough scooters and electrics now, I kind of have a, a no-clutch mode. The other thing is, if you find it difficult to ride a bike, I 100% would say learn. Just just push through it and learn to use gears and stuff but if you pass that scooters are so easy to ride anyone could ride them it's definitely got a proper little jiggle to it at idle as soon as you get on the throttle look it goes away because it, it the frequency increases but when it is at idle it's got this like like chillifying wobble oh it's, it's kind of like a massaging seat maybe that's the idea are we moving are we moving we're moving! What the hell is that? 
was stretched Hayabusa. <laughs> I think that's probably only the third or fourth stretch booster I've ever seen. I've lived a blessed life. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Yeah, we're gonna have to go for another top speed run, aren't we? Oh, uh, yeah, we got this lane. Yeah. Oh, I feel it in my bones. This is gonna be the one. We're gonna get a clear patch of traffic. Should we do a bit of filtering? You know. Maybe a scooter, but it still gets off the mark. Yeah! Okay. Okay, here we go. We're probably going to hit a red, because it normally always is red when you come around here. Now we're onto a green. We're onto a good one! Let's go! It's a clear road ahead. This is perfect. Come on. 45. 50. Oh, come on, I know this bike can do 60s, it's just the traffic. Okay, we're all right, 57. 58. 59, 58, 59. 59. 60. And that's really very much all it's got, 60. And people are removing my braking distance for me. So the answer is 60 miles an hour is absolutely flat out. I mean, it might get 61 or something, but yeah, we're basically talking 60 flat out. And it took a little while to get to that, but 55 is pretty easy. Whee! <laughs> is that a bath? That is indeed a bath. I found a jet ski up here once, I got a video on it. I'm not kidding. Um, I was like, most random object found, something like that. As you can see though, I am having a blast. This is probably the most fun I've had on a bike for a while. Scooter buddy. Scooter buddy. Oh God. Oh, scooter buddy, why didn't you tell me, man? Why didn't you tell me so? The bumps are gonna destroy you, man. Your hips, they have no hope. Oh, why am I doing this to myself? Oh, so I'm testing the bike, that's right. It's the swerve avoidance test. But if you get it wrong, you die. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm having a good laugh, and this is exactly why I wanted to get one of these 125cc scooters for a bit. Because it's just fun. They're just fun, and they're really utilitarian, and they're cheap. You know, the fuel, I'll save money in fuel by having this. I will say, the ride on it is quite firm, uh, which makes it great in the corners. Though the seat, because I can't quite sit where I want to, I think uh, it feels a little bit firm, but it's, it's alright. I mean, honestly, I can't say that I would be coming through here much faster on my XJ6, if not probably slower, because, well, you know, it's a big XJ6. This is just a little scooter. It just, it just goes everywhere you want it to. I have to say, I do feel very happy about the fact that I can be so enthralled by small, cheap bikes, because it means I don't, I'm not in that addiction of bigger, more powerful, more expensive bikes. So I'm just like, small, cheap, fun. Christ, give me seven of them. Who wants to bet 30 is going to equate to about 17? We're getting closer. We're going to be sub 20 in a minute. Yep. 18 miles an hour. 17 miles an hour. 17 or 18, I think we're getting a little bit faster now. I know this video. Well, then. <laughs> well, I guess we should probably call that the end of my first ride on the Lexmoto Aurora. Um, 60 mile an hour, 125cc scooter, get you around town, nippy, fun, cheap. I mean, I've got this for a few weeks, so I'll do the review at the end, but I'm just going to have fun with it in the meantime. Uh, you got any suggestions? You want to see how many uh, Brussels sprouts I can fill the undersea storage with? Maybe that should be the new 
new sort of measurement. We don't do litres anymore, we do Brussels sprouts. Oh, come on, one of you let me go. Thank you. Oh, it definitely locks up. <laughs> Is it a crash? Is it a crash? Is it a point? Is it a... I'm guessing it's a crash. Is it a road rage? What is it? If you found this video useful, entertaining, or anything, hit the like button, I appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new here, I'm on my way to 100k. If you'd like to help support this channel, please consider joining my Patreon. You'll get videos a minimum of three days early, but it's normally a lot more. You get to be a member of the Discord and all sorts of other bits and pieces in between. It's well worth the buck a month and it helps me keep this channel going. Till the next one. Bye-bye.